Hi everyone, this is Gab. I'm co-founder of Decentral Technologies and today I want to talk to you about the Edminer L3+. Plus. The L3 Plus is definitely the most popular uh, script miner out there. Um, on script you may uh, mine coins like uh, Litecoin and Dodge. Um, it is a fabulous choice for home miners. It will pull about 800 watts on the original Bitmain main uh, on the original Bitmain firmware. Uh, although I like to, um, however, sorry, I like to run my uh, L3 pluses on Vnish. Uh, Vnish will allow me to customize uh, the frequency and voltage so that I can reach um, a consumption of about 650, 700 watts uh, for the same hash rate, which is a significant uh, increase in efficiency compared to the original uh, firmware of Bitmain. Um, stuck it will come with the APW3 PSU from Bitmain it is an excellent choice for uh, for industrial mines though for home miners it is very noisy and um, if you mine at home I, I would advise you to go with a more efficient uh, power supply like AVJ G2 series or something from Corsair or something alike that will be way way uh, less noisy that will be more quiet um, we have uh, one uh, L3 Plus that's running in the test room right now uh, on Vnish. It's pulling about 680 watts and it's doing its typical 500 mega hashes you may come with. So here is our Antminer L3 Plus from earlier. At so the other time. Um, so once you're in, um, to I reverted I reverted back to uh, Bitmain to show you guys how to um, upgrade it, to, how to flash it to the Vinish firmware. So you go to your uh, system folder, and then you click on the upgrade button. There you go, and then go on browse. Then you select your uh, your firmware that you have just downloaded for the flash. There you go as simple as flash firmware yes you want to you give it a minute for uh, the firmware to apply then if you get into that problem that the firmware has been rejected by the controller you're gonna have to uh, flash the controller with an SD card we will show you in a coming video how to do so um, in the meantime I'll show you how it looks with another uh, L3 plus I have running on Vnish the uh, default username should be root and password as well root unless you changed it yourself there you go so this is how the dashboard on Venus will will look like similar as the 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 one we had with the s9 uh, the other time um, to configure your miner you simply push that uh, minor configuration button uh, folder sorry about that and then you uh, you apply your pool uh, URL and then your pool worker, which will be um, your uh, your your pool name account, and then you can add that point L3 plus, let's say, and then you're you're gonna see on your pool uh, the worker name L3 plus and L3 plus one and so forth. You can use password. You can you can possibly not use it if you use a Litecoin pool. You will need to uh, register your worker on your pool before you set up your miner otherwise it will be rejected by the pool um, and once your pool is configured you go to uh, the folder mining profile still in the in the same folder miner configuration but then you go uh, the one on the right mining profile you click that one and then you'll you'll choose your favorite preset if you want more efficiency you go for the 500 mega hash and 600 watts the one we were uh, we were measuring uh, right before so simple as that you choose your preset then you have other uh, other possibilities of configuration if you will depending on your preferences you push save and it will automatically apply to your machine